Mom? Drew Residence, Kate speaking. You know this line isn't secure. Moira, stop. I'll call you. where mom was in the picture. Okay, now what? Hey, my suitcase! I'm on it. That guy's a thief! I really, really thought I was going to get that guy. Sorry. <sighs> Thanks for trying. I'm Alec. Nancy. That's a nice offer, but why would you want to do that? It doesn't look like you work here. I'm in the business of finding people who don't want to be found. Well, I won't turn down help. So you're a private eye? I'm more of a skip tracer. When someone goes off the grid, I get a call and track them down. They skip, I trace. I had some very important things that belonged to my mom in that suitcase. I really need them back. Go check into your hotel. I will find your suitcase. Nancy, glad you made it. I'm your cathedral contact, Ewan. There's a case file in your room. Read it, memorize it. That's your playbook. It'll keep you alive. I've got a bit of housekeeping to do. Get settled. I'll call you when I'm ready. Check. The American girl. Do I know you? You do now. I'm Bridget. I'll be outside. There's something very important I need to tell you. You had something important to tell me? Just that I love Americans. Some people say you're ignorant, entitled slobs, but not me. I don't know if that was important. Of course it is. 
You've got the best cities, the best bands, Hollywood! Your star may be fading, but you're still the cool kids at the global lunch table. Teach me your ways. I'm sorry, but I'm sort of in the middle of something pretty important. I'm a little overbooked. You say that now, but I can tell we're going to be friends. Or enemies. Either way, get used to this face right here. Can you tell me a little bit about Scotland? Just a bit then. Well, it's old, it's cold, and I like it all the same. I got a book about it. I could get it for you. It's only up in my room. It might be good to read up on the attack. make some money then make some cookies the cookie order shows up down there make it exactly as shown if you want to get paid the more cookies you make the wealthier you get all right it's a masterpiece A masterpiece. Not quite right. How is there such a thing as a wrong cookie? Why did you come alone? Don't you have family, friends? Surely you have a boyfriend. I do. Then why do you travel so lonely? This isn't exactly a vacation. I need you to find someone for me. I am to please. A reporter named Moira Chisholm. Word is no one knows how to find her. That seems right in your wheelhouse. If I knew what the wheelhouse is, I'd agree. I think it's in a boat. Well, that seems useless. Or it's a baseball thing? Double useless. But yes, I'm on it. Nancy, you have attracted our attention. Consider this your first test. You will find an envelope in Locker 49. Take it to the Ten Raven Pub in Gifnet. If you do, you will be rewarded. Here's a hint. Harrier checking in. Challenge code for agent CMYK0110. The colony operation has been terminated. Wouldn't you like to know more? Was that Mom?
I'm going to pretend this is for a wedding. <laughs> what else could it be for? You've passed. You deserve praise and a reward. Listen. I'm doing everything I can to stay under the radar. I'll call in when I can, but you won't be able to reach me. Revenant has pulled out, but remaining operatives are still following me. Pay attention to where I'm calling from. There's a pattern. Figure it out and find me. I've left a trail. Card is for Cathedral. The rest is for back home. Figure it out. Why do they keep sending me these old recordings of Mom? I think I found your friend. Great! Where? Fair warning. She's a hitter. She hit me. Did you provoke her? Just a little. Why is she so important? She wrote an article I thought was pretty interesting. About hitting strangers, no doubt. She's out in Bearston. You can take the train out there. I need to know, are you really who you say you are? Why? That means no. It does. But I'm a friend, and I did save your life back there. Doesn't that buy me a bit of goodwill? Uh, agreeing to find my suitcase was nice. I'd hardly call that saving my life. I was perfectly happy in my routine. Taking jobs, making money, crumpets. Everything that could be good was good. Then I met you, went out of my way to keep you present tense, and yet the sass. You want to know about me? Tell me about you, until you're ready to do that. Leave me alone. I'm not leaving until you tell me what's going on. Great. I enjoy your company. Nothing until you tell me what's going on. All right. I'll tell you about myself if I can get some answers in return. Thank you. Why are you here? I want to learn more about my mother. All right. What do you really do for a living? Exactly what I told you. What do you want to know about your mother? She left home one day. I don't know why. My dad begged her not to go, and she didn't listen. She died here. I don't think it was an accident. Why not? No, my turn. Is someone paying you to keep an eye on me? That's enough. That was fun. Tell me something good. Why are you still hanging out here? I'm a big fan of announcements. And I gotta love a shrill beep now and again. Wait for it. Huh? Who doesn't? I need to kick off at a second sometimes, and I get sick of rushing over. Then, it grew on me. I like watching travelers. Trying to imagine the worlds they carry with them in their heads. And I got a thing for the crumpets here. I think I could have been a great professor of psychology, but I never could sit in a chair, now could I? Have you heard of Revenant? Like the fancy word for ghost, yeah. Right. No, it weren't a ghost. It was proper like he was kitted out in one of them toxes and snacking on a canopy. Revenant is supposedly a terrorist group. You've never heard of them? Nope. So hardly terrifying. They're more of an obscurist group. Nothing. You've heard nothing about this group. No. And neither have you. I got that book you wanted. Here you go. Thanks. How could you tell I'm an American? I've got a sixth sense about these things. I saw a guy on the train. I just walked up to him and said, You're from Belgium, aren't you? He wasn't, but he should have been. He just had that look. Can I follow you around for a whole lot? You seem really nice. The nicest? Ask me, Gran. But I can't really have anyone following me. Please, don't take it personally. No, I, I understand. Do you work or go to school or what do you do? You think I'm from Glasgow! Is that okay? No! It's glorious! I'm actually from Witten. It's always been a dream of mine to live in the city. And I'm sort of checking it out to see if it's for me. How long are you going to be in Glasgow? Not long. You? I have no idea. I'll let you go. Goodbye!
Got it. All right. Not bad, if I do say so myself. Not bad, if I do say so myself. Got it. Got it. It's a masterpiece. Looks like it's out of things to bend. I'll hit you again. Are you looking for a smack? Moira, I really need to talk to you. It's important. If you want to talk, come back with some food. Oh, that accent. Are you an American? Yes. You don't know anything about Scottish food. I'll give you simple names. Get me the oatmeal parfait, turnips and potatoes, haddock, and a bit of fudge if you would. in Scotland? How did you know? Never mind how I know. That's not the point. You're deflecting. Guilty. You don't have my permission to be in Scotland. Come home right now. Your permission? I think I'm a little too old for that. What you're too old for is running headfirst into a dangerous situation and leaving the rest of us to clean up after you. What is with you right now? Calm down. Nancy, you don't get it. I'm not angry at you. <laughs> Could have fooled me. I'm scared. Please, just come home. Why are you being so difficult? Nancy, if I help you, I'm pushing you right to whoever has lured you there. I can handle myself. Your mother said the same thing. Who is Moira Chisholm? Stay away from her. My source at Cathedral wants me to find her. Cathedral? I don't know what to tell you then. Can I have Mom's notes? No. It might be helpful. I bet it would be extremely helpful, but no, you really can't. They're gone. Gone? Where? I shredded them. You what? Remember when you picked the lock on that filing cabinet? Which one? I'm going to pretend I didn't hear that. To my knowledge, it was just the one. I mean, which one? The only one ever? That one? I knew you were looking for her notes, so I shredded everything. So, it's all lost? It's all lost. Oh, how could you do that? I thought it might prevent you from doing what you're doing right now. See you around. on your dad wanted me to book a flight to Scotland yeah I knew that might happen I did not what's going on your dad seemed really upset he is he thinks I'm in danger and he's just now noticing this yeah, he seems to think that it's different this time he might be right well tell me what's happening I had my bag stolen at the train station oh no did you lose anything valuable this poem I had it was my mom's she wrote it no, it was her favorite poem, Jabberwocky. That poem is confusing. <laughs> All the good ones are. 
I prefer haiku. Easier to understand. I see what you did. Well, at least you can replace it. No, that's the thing. I can't. My mom had marked it up in this strange way. What do you mean? She color-coded it in the book. I always thought it was a code, but my dad was really weird about all of her things, so I was only ever able to make a copy. The original is still there? I think so. See you around. Thanks. Bye. What do you do? Huh. How what? I don't really know. I guess I'm something of a detective. Freelance. That's the coolest! Do you have a gun? No, I don't. A badge? Nope. A trilby? Sorry. Hmm. You should at least have a proper trench and trilby if you're going to be in the detective game. How did you end up becoming a detective? I guess I just have trouble leaving questions unanswered. Unless you're talking to me. Touché. Thank you very much. I'll let you go. See you later. Now to get everything Moira asked for. Great, that's one of the things on her list. Now to get the rest. Everything. Now to Bear's Den to deliver this to Moira. Not bad, if I do say so myself. Not bad, if I do say so myself. I got what you wanted. Now please, I need to talk to you about my mother. Her name was Kate Drew. Nancy, I had no idea. I would never have... Please, come in. What you doing here? Just visiting. Your mother would shrug a bit whenever she was lying. Now I see it's genetic. You knew my mother? Kate Drew? Quite well. We wrote for the same newspaper. I knew you too. What? There's a photo. Go on, take a look. That's me? Indeed it is. Believe it or not, I was once your favorite person in the world. But mainly because I snuck you sweets when Kate and Carson weren't looking. I'm so sorry. I just don't remember. I guess I didn't really expect you to. You were quite small the last time I saw you. See that tea set? Uh-huh. Yeah. You'll notice the lack of teacups. That's because you broke every single cup. Sorry I was an accidental terror. Ha! <laughs> accidental. Please, get back here. Nothing accidental about it. You'd make eye contact, grin that vicious little grin you had, and smash! Then you'd laugh like it was the funniest thing in the whole world. Oh, I must have been a nightmare. Yeah, you were. Sorry? You have no idea how good it is to see you. Who is that? Was anyone following you? Not that I know of. Hide. Now. What's going on? Now! Stay put and don't make a sound. No matter what you hear. What's... Shh! There's a safe behind the breaker. Look under the teapot. Follow what you find to the safe house. Safe house? What's going on? If it's starting again, no one can know you're here. Ah, oh, gentlemen. You must be here to abduct me. Oh, come, is that really nasty? <laughs> this must be the number Moira referenced for the fuses.
I need to flip the fuses to equal the number from the teapot. This must be for the safe house in Loch Lamont. I wonder what I'll need to open up this box. Did that. Can't check that off yet. Hey, kid. Have you been sending me messages? No. And the way you say that makes me think these aren't your standard messages. You could say that. If anyone is threatening you, I need to know right now. Why? Because. Common courtesy. I don't find that particularly reassuring since I'm not sure who is after me. Right. I've been meaning to ask you about that. Right now, you and I have about the same amount of information. And unless you actually know something... Eh? I'll let you go. Goodbye. Well, I'm grounded. Come in, Nancy. Big sad news coming down the pike. Breaker, breaker, smoky, Do you even have niner? any idea how selfish you're being right now? Nancy, is everything okay? Bess, something's going on. It's bad. Sneak down and listen. Okay. No, you're not doing this. Keep it down. You made me a promise. This is more important. What do you want me to tell Nancy? Huh? That, that her mom doesn't care enough about her to stay? Just leave then! Run off to Scotland! Oh, grow up, Carson. I'm coming over. I'm stuck here. What do you mean? My passport has been revoked. What? By whom? I don't know. I'm working on it. But I'm not surprised. The world your mom moved in. Yeah, when were you going to tell me about that? I can't fix this for you. I'm not asking you to fix things for me. I'm not helping you. Dad, before mom left, why were you two fighting? No, Nancy, if you're not going to listen to reason, you're on your own. Look, I know you're mad at me. Mad at you? You're not even in the right ballpark. But I'm not being stubborn. I can't encourage you. I can only ask you to please, please stop. Why were you and Mom fighting? She wanted to go to Scotland. I knew it was going to be dangerous. Why did she want to go? That was classified. I, I don't know. But you knew it was dangerous. I knew. Your mom was like you. She put the needs of others in front of her own. I knew Glasgow needed too much. I knew she'd give too much. You say she cared so much, why did she leave? I'm not a kid. It's time to tell me. Nancy, drop it. 
No, I won't. This is why you won't tell me anything. You've always told me how she had this big heart. But what about me? Is that what you think? Should it be? She left for you. For me, too. Because she would have walked through fire if it meant that the world you grew up in was even slightly better. I think she thought she had to. Maybe she did have to. I knew when I married your mother that nothing would ever be simple again. I'm sorry that you didn't get to choose like I did. But that's family for you. See you around. Bye. Hi, Nancy. Moira was kidnapped. Whoa, by who? I have no idea. Be careful out there, okay? Moira directed me to go to a cabin. It's a safe house, I guess. Did you go? No. And another month is shaved away from the Ned life expectancy. Go already, please. Okay, okay. I got a message to come find out what really happened to my mom. I thought your mom was in a bad accident when she was visiting a friend. Well, that's what I thought too, but... But what? But something weird happened before she left. My mom and dad got into this fight. It was like nothing I'd seen before, but I didn't know what to do about it. You were just a kid, Nancy. I wasn't just a kid, I was her daughter, and I should have done whatever it took to get her to stay. Nancy, maybe your dad is right. Maybe this is too dangerous. It might be best to just come home. Ned, there's a reason I call you and not someone else. It's not the charm? <laughs> it's never the charm. That's the backhand. Standing by for the compliment. Sorry, that's not how I meant to put it, Ned. I know you can make the promise I need you to make. Promise to help me, even if that means pushing me towards something dangerous. Do you understand what I mean? I do. Good. Oh, thank you. From here on out, no holding anything back. No protecting me from myself. I could agree to that. I knew you could, and I'm sorry to ask that of you. All I ask is you do whatever it takes to make it home in one piece. Have I ever missed a date? Yes, all of the time. Have I ever missed anything that was really important to you? No. Then it's a deal. I don't know who else to ask. I'm getting calls from an anonymous caller. It might be Revenant. What are they saying? They want me to help them. Don't. Ned, don't forget what you promised. Okay, okay, okay. Help them do what? Little things. I think they're trying to figure me out. So you don't think they're asking you to do anything that would hurt anyone? If they do, obviously I'll stop. But they're promising me information about my mom, about what she was doing up until the point of the accident. Do you really want to know about that? Yes, I really do. Then I guess I don't know what to tell you. If you're not doing anything bad and you need to know... I do. Then I guess you can be the judge of what's best. But maybe you don't need to know. That's not how I work. I know. But maybe everything you need to know about your mom, maybe you already know all of that. I'm cooperating with the calls from Revenant. So you can learn more about what happened to your mom, right? Yeah. Do you think that's a smart thing to do? I don't know. Me either. I'll let you go. Bye.
it's locked. Moira's notes mention something about tuning in. I should figure out what station she meant. in your safe. Your password is your room number times the price of a serving of haggis at the deli outside the hotel. Why? Why not? The Jabberwocky. I knew that was important. I need to figure out how to press these stones in the right order. Let's give this a shot. Pretty pleased with this development. Looks like it's missing a part. Is everything okay over there? The cabin is some sort of weird high-tech something or other. Not gonna lie, that is awesome. But why? Working on it. Moira directed me to go to a cabin. It's a safe house, I guess. Did you go? Yeah. Good. I need you to get the original copy of the Jabberwocky poem. Original meaning? The color version my mom had. I need you to scan it and send it here. 
Shouldn't you ask your dad? He'll say no. So? Ned, I need you to break into my house and get that poem. Don't Bess and George have keys? They do, but they're out of town. All right. I'm sorry, Ned. No need to apologize. You've certainly made my life weirder, but you've also made it much better. If all you ask in return is a little burglary now and again, it's a fair trade. Technically, it doesn't count because you have permission. I don't think the Nancy said it's cool approach will be all that effective in a court of law. Hey, if your dad catches me, do you think he'll still be my lawyer? Goodbye. Thanks. Bye. Haven't done that. Did that. Can't check that off yet. Tell me something good. Talk to you later. Bye. It's not working right now. Where were you? I wasn't sure if you had a party or if you got murdered. Either way, it would have been nice to be invited. I went to spend a little time at a cabin. Who just goes to a cabin by themselves? Shut up! Did you bring Alec? You know Alec? I know he's not into me, but now I see why. Alec did not come with me, and how do you know about him anyway? I'm not here to judge. Well, there's nothing to judge. Let me check the docket. Hmm. May I refer you to the case of Tree versus Nancy and Alec? Tree alleges K-I-S-S. -S. Ugh, enough! Oh, fine, I believe you. I'm just jealous. ING. I'll let you go. Goodbye. All right. My luggage. Alec must have had it delivered. Wait a second. Mom's stuff is missing. Did Alec take it? What did Ewan say was the code to get in here again? What's that? That is not normal. I need to take a closer look at her room. I need to use the keycard Ewan gave me to activate this panel. That's new. It must be part of Cathedral security. Can't check that off yet. Can't check that off yet. Ah, oh, Nancy, what's up? Pretty impressive, huh? Are you my cathedral contact? My code name is Yun. And before you ask, no, I did not choose it. Would I've chosen something better? Shadow, blizzard, or some better word that doesn't also sound like a name you'd give a horse. Can you look into Alec Fell for me? Aye. Do you have anything that could help me keep an eye on Bridget? Well, not as such. Unless... You're not afraid of heights now, are you? Check this out. 
Find a bow, and you can use this to zip across the courtyard. It's not safe, but it is fun. Why was the attack centered on Glasgow? We wondered that as well. It took us too long. We had that special vanity that made us think our lives were more important than anyone else's. And that blinded us to the obvious. It was Glasgow because someone here wanted to play a risky game. When Revenant sees someone they think could be pointed in the direction they find advantageous, they drop a trail of breadcrumbs. Is Cathedral a part of MI5? It is, and yet it is not. I understand. And yet you don't. I love duplicity. And yet... You hate it. There's my girl. I like your style. But... No, I genuinely do. Is there anything you could tell me about Bridget? That girl upstairs. I ran her background on a hunch. And? Nothing. Try not to let her become collateral damage. She seems sweet. What exactly do you do here? In the intelligence game, the dumb ones get manipulated, and the clever ones get buried. And the particularly clever ones? Well, they win, of course. But that's most likely not you. No offense. That's not me either. The creepy messages I'm getting on my phone. Who do you think is sending them? I've been trying to track the source of the message. Grats await the mysterious stranger who coded that monstrosity. Do you know who Kate Drew was? Aye, we all do. I know she's your mom. You can call her that. So she really wasn't a reporter? She was, and was quite good. But she was also one of ours. A spy? Aye. What or who was she spying on? Figured you'd want to know. I gave you basic clearance on the archives. There is a station set up for you along the wall. How did my mom stop the attack? Your mother isolated the man who was orchestrating the attack. And of course he knew nothing and had nothing that could lead back to Revenant. All he could say was whatever he needed had a way of appearing. And the same person never visited him twice. No one knew what they were bringing him, or why. It was perfectly and alarmingly decentralized. So what exactly does Revenant want? Back in the days of mud huts and the like, some years the harvests would be light. Sometimes, when that happened, two kings would meet and plan a war to thin their flocks. Then, no one would ever know of their failures. That is what Revenant wants. They don't want to take over the world. They want to keep it. Why are you my contact? In order to do my job, I have to have top information clearance. But I'm not an agent per se. Civilian liaison work often falls to me. If you're asking what that means, you may not like the answer. May not? Absolutely won't. You're not considered a player. You're considered an asset. You're more or less on your own. You get to chat with me, and that's it. Who is Revenant? We do not know exactly. That's just what we're calling him. I'm seeing a pattern. That pattern is called chaos. Simply put, they're the bad guys. Less simply put? In this game of cat and mouse, we thought we were the cat. But you're the mouse. We're the mouse. They're the trap. Are you the one who sent me the message to come to Scotland? No. Do you know who did? Nope. Do you know why? Yes, in fact I do. Someone thinks you have special insight into the secrets that were lost with Kate Drew. I don't. Well, perhaps you do. How about you get caught up on the basics first before making up your mind? What is your role with Cathedral? I'm the Watcher in the Wires. I protect the status quo. And, for the time being, you. What do you mean by protect the status quo? Society rides on a rail, like a trolley. The rails are solid and modest and predictable. Those are your disc types. They get married, they have some kids, buy a house they can't afford, and never again are they unpredictable, or interesting, or alive even. But the catenary line, the third rail, that's what drives the world forward. People that have a charge running through them, they move the world forward, or they try to destroy it. 
I'll make sure that won't happen. See you around. See you around. I'm guessing that alarm means something a little bad is happening? Servers are getting a bit hot. That alarm triggers when I need to cool them down. If they overheat, everything gets fried. So you have to go back there and reset it every time the alarm goes off? Aye. I'll let you go. See you around. Did that. That's done. It's time for a new test. Put the lines on the trash compactor at the station, and you will be rewarded. Done. I guess now I just wait. What 
message. Thank you for finding my suitcase. I hope you don't mind. I took a peek inside to confirm it was yours. I gotta say, if you're so attached to your mom's jeans, why did you take them on an international flight? Those are mine. Oh. Yeah. Right. You look nice today, he said with a hopeful smile. Let's just move on. There was a poem in my suitcase. It's missing. What are you talking about? There was nothing like that in there? Not that I saw. See you around. Goodbye. Can you believe how selfish I am? I never asked a thing about you. Why are you here in Scotland? Vacation. It seems like a nice place. A solo vacation to Scotland. You have a funny way of making choices. Have you ever heard of Revenant? Are you spy or something? No, just something I overheard. Oh yeah. I guess a spy wouldn't just ask a stranger that. Well, not a good spy. Revenant's supposed to be this terrorist organization, but they tapped out ten years ago. Now it's just the psychos that talk about him. Keeps their psychotic minds busy, which is either very good or very bad. Talk to you later. Bye. Done. Bess would be so embarrassed by me right now. All right. All right. It's a masterpiece. Not bad, if I do say so myself. Hi, Nancy. So, how... am I on speakerphone? Yeah. Yes, Nancy, you are on the speakerphone. Oh. Mm-hmm. I would like to remind... Shut up, Ned. Don't talk to Ned that way. Actually, at this, uh, juncture, that might be warranted. Thank you, Ned. You're welcome. Shut up, Ned. Nancy, do you want to take a guess at why I'm upset with Ned right now? He broke into the house? Well, can't say that doesn't factor in. I'm upset with Ned because he let you talk him into something dangerous, and he wasn't smart enough to stop you. Whoa, hold on. All due respect, Mr. Drew, you're wrong. All due respect, Mr. Nickerson, you're a complete... Let me finish. I know how serious this is, but I also know Nancy. Better than her own father, I assume? As well as, but I can admit something you can't. And just what exactly is that? Nothing I say is going to stop Nancy, not this time. I understand why you don't want to help her, but that'll make things more dangerous for Nancy. She called me because she knows that my faith in her is stronger than my fear for her. So now you can tell me to shut up. The poem is on the top shelf of the bedroom closet. Can you go get it and give me a moment with Nancy? Sure thing, Mr. Drew. Sorry I burgled your house. Nancy, I don't know what to do here, kiddo. I wish you would just come home. But I think Ned is right, and you are right to go to him. Thanks. I'll talk to you again soon. of Jabberwocky. Now to figure out what it means. It's 
still have to do that. Got it. Need to be quick about this. Bridget could be back at any second. This is straight up weird. She's tracking my movements? I think I'd better find out more before I confront her about this. Hmm. All right. Let's see what Bridget's up to. Okay, I need to use the McLaurin pattern here. Is she talking about a dead drop? If I work fast enough, I might be able to intercept the package. What? What happened? Someone broke into my room! What was taken? My money! Just your money? What kind of a question is that? Well, money's... <sighs> Sorry, just trying to see how I can help. I just saw a group of men in suits headed toward your room. They look like spies or something. What? Hmm. I need to slide the track of canisters out.
Got it. I need to complete this myself to see what Bridget was up to. This should work for the dead drop. Want to hear a funny story? Sure. Great. Give me your phone. Um... Come on! Give phone! Give me the phone! Come on! You know you're curious as to why I want it! I am, but... Curiosity killed the cat! That's not exactly helping your case. Ugh! Oh, Gimme, please! I won't do anything crazy! Alright. Yay! My boyfriend has tried to break up with me with a voicemail, if you can believe that. So, ahem. <clears throat> dropped my phone into sewer. This isn't my phone. Don't write back. Loophole! I was going to dump him soon anyway, but in person, like you do. Thanks for your... Whoa! I need that back. Are you in trouble? I don't know. Can I listen to the rest? It might be safer for you if you didn't. You are a spy! I mean, shh, no you're not. But you are! What are you really up to? You've been tracking me since I arrived. I bet your name isn't even really Bridget. No, your name isn't Bridget. Who are you really? Why were you asking me so many questions? Ah, oh, thank you. I am so sick of that accent. And I am so sick of you. Go home, Nancy Drew. Otherwise, you will die. I need enough money first. Not bad, if I do say so myself. A masterpiece. Done. Dead drop, drop dead. I'll give it some time and see what happens next.
It's a masterpiece. I should investigate that chair when I can. If I can get all of the colors into the correct circle, I should be able to get this off. Whoa! Who is this note about? Zoe Wolf? Is that Bridget's real name? Haven't done that. Did that. Can't check that off yet. Alright! It's a masterpiece. Got it. Got it. All right. Done. Done. All right. What's going on? I know you stole my glasses. Why didn't you say they were missing? Sorry to upset you. That make it less fulfilling? You have a problem, my friend. Keep them, by the way. I remote wiped the drive. You want to play spy? Enjoy the toy. Here's the deal. You go forward like we never spoke. What are you going to do? Spy stuff. Okay, Zoe. You wore a disguise. You were trying to get me to talk to you. What's your angle? Nancy, oh, you were so loud. I'll tell you what I can, but here are the conditions. You trust only me from now on. Right. Like that's going to happen. Fine, then trust no one. No one. Not even your father. My father? He would never lie to me. You need to understand. Revenant goes after weaknesses. We all have them. And your father's weakness is obvious. It's you! He'll lie to you if someone can convince him it'll keep you safe. Okay, but... But nothing. Someone's been talking to him. If you don't believe me, ask him about it. And listen to how he sounds. And don't you think it's funny that he's having all these passport problems out of the blue? That's Revenant's handiwork.
Why are you standing outside of the hotel? Just am. There must be a reason you're hanging out here. Are you kidding me? Leave it alone! Found out the deal with that Alec fella. Yeah? Anything interesting? No. He's harmless. Harmless? I think so. But if he's taking a shine to you, use it to your advantage. What exactly was the colony operation? The idea was simple. Manufacture a disaster. In this case, it was the release of a virus designed not to kill, but to incapacitate. Pushing the city into a state of disaster. That's stage one. What's stage two? As far as we understood, if the Glasgow cell carried out the first stage, Revenant would take over. Okay, what would they do next? They'd send in support, put the city back on its feet, and in the days that follow, seize all positions of authority under the guise of emergency action. Drive the stake in the ground, so to speak, and never give back what was taken. Colony was a bit tongue-in-cheek, operations name-wise. It wasn't about shifting a population, it was about shifting power. It was about obedience. So why is the colony operation starting again? Still not sure. Here's the theory. Just like the good guys figured out Revenant existed, so did some bad guys. And maybe they thought, what if we follow the old script? Will they show up and play their part? Which is pretty cute if you think about it. Almost like a seance to conjure a ghost. I still don't understand why Revenant would want to carry out an attack like this. They do not care. That does not make sense. They don't. They are playing the long game. What long game? I would kill to find out. It seems like Revenant was obsessed with getting the formula correct. Why? The formula is important. Too deadly. Obviously a problem. Revenant will not show up unless you hit the sweet spot. They're interested in using this as a test drone, not in racking up civilian casualties. Too easy to fight off, then it's just a cold. You need to knock three quarters of the city under a pile of blankets, then you're home free. What about children, the elderly, people who are already sick? Ah, uh, you know, I don't want to think about that. Back to the formula. If the operation is running again, there is most likely a lab working on an approximation of the virus, getting everything in place for when the proper formula is available. Once it is, how long would it take to be unleashed? Depends on a lot of factors, quicker than anyone would like. If anyone can find the original scientist, or the original formula, it's a matter of time. If they find both? They'll have it ready almost instantaneously. Is it strange that Bridget would get these glasses from a dead drop? Whoa! Yes! What are they? Augmented reality glasses. But these... This is a custom job. I wonder if it has solitaire. Oh, that's a shame. Just the basics. Can you examine these and see what they're for? May take a bit. I'll let you know when they're done. You may want to ease up on the stealing. I'll give them back. I'm just investigating. Sure. Avoid investigating any big ticket items during your visit. I really hate the embassy people. How do I get into the glass storage case? The storage locking mechanism is half broken, and I can't get it to open unless it's all the way fixed. If you get it back online, can I give it a try? Knock yourself out. Is it true that Revenant only allows others to act for them? Let's hope so. If not, then we're terrible at our jobs. The truth is, we think they're... us. Imagine what you could do with these resources if your aim went askew. What does Revenant want? The crazy thing is, what they want makes sense. Do not tell anyone I said that. Not a popular opinion, I'm guessing. That one rarely gets asked to the dance. What they want is to rewrite the rules of the world. What do you mean? Imagine if you got to rewrite the rules of society. 
who gets what, who leads, who follows. I bet you'd make a lot of changes. Right. But as the lesson of every sci-fi movie where robots become self-aware states, in our flaws lie our perfections. Goodbye. See you around. Can't check that off yet. Hi. Let me get this straight. You're an American? Yup. What are you doing here? Trying to pry as much information out of you before you end up dead. Is that a threat? What is going on? Who are you? Nothing and no one. Go home. No. I'll say it slow. If you stay, you will die. I'm not intimidated by you. You're a prop. Get that? Everyone you meet here is using you. Wise up and ship out. What? Either you let me help, or I'll go public with what I know. You're killing me here! How many nooses do you need around your neck? Ugh, you can't help me. But I'll let you see this through. You'll let me? But if you stay, you're not my friend. You're not my helper. You're a tool, in every sense of the word. And you'll do exactly what I say. Yeah, that's not going to happen. I need a bag and drag for Miss Drew. Would you like to add an enhanced interrogation for this 99 cents? Mm, you know I shouldn't. Trying to be good. Who are you talking to? That's the guy I call when I need someone kidnapped. You've got about a minute. Two if you run. But don't. It's sad to watch. Call it off. I'll do what you say. I'm gonna need you to cancel that last order. Here's the deal. You go forward like we never spoke. What are you going to do? Spy stuff. See you around. Bye. Is everything okay? You are too rude to Ned. I was angry. I know, but... I'll talk to him. That's the first time he stood up to me like that. Well, it's the first time he needed to. Okay, you win. Look, I'm not going to be the most helpful person in all of this. But I'll stop being an obstacle. Thank you. Don't thank me yet. You and I have some talking to do when you get home. I need to know everything. Fine. But hey, do you remember the name of your kindergarten teacher's dog? Sure. Zabo. Good. You still have that impeccable memory. Remember this, and tack it onto the back of every single thing I say. Please come home. What did Mom really do? She was a journalist. What kind? You know how you write me and Hannah those letters? Yeah. That's pretty much what she did. She'd head out, tackle some strange mystery that had gotten her attention, and then she'd come back with the answers. Do you know anything about the colony operation? Just what's in the news. Do you think there's any truth to the idea that someone is trying to start it up again? I'm almost certain of it. Why? When people come looking for Kate's things, they always want to focus on what she was working on last. There was this very persistent woman who wanted everything Kate worked on, all of her notes. Recently? Yes, I should have just handed them over. Maybe you wouldn't be drawn into all this. Why don't we ever talk about Mom? I didn't want to upset you. Really? Yes. Well, that's why I never talked to you about her. Oh. Yeah. I don't know where to start. Me either. You know, when it's time, it's time. We'll talk then. What information could Mom have that's so important? I know I shouldn't be telling you this. But you're going to? Your mother somehow threw a wrench into the entire operation. Her plan before she left, at least from what I could figure out, was to find some scientist. 
presumably the one who helped with the attack, and put him in protective custody. It sounds like he was just some guy who got in over his head. He'd be happy to hide from everything. I assume she was able to do that, but that's all I've been able to figure out. I don't understand anything about this attack. I bet. I know it had your mother obsessed for a very long time. She couldn't figure it out either. She was sure it was part of some long-term plan. Plan for what? That's where she stopped. She never had enough information to put things together. Do you think I should work with Zoe? I've asked around. I can't get official confirmation, but my sources here seem to think this Zoe girl might be the real deal. That doesn't mean you should do everything she says. See you around. Bye. Hi, Nancy. I need to know everything you can find about Revenant. Um, what? I don't know. It's a terrorist organization. At least I think it is. Do you still have access to the database at the paper? Yeah, but there are still clearance issues. Wouldn't most of this stuff be classified? Can't let a little thing like that slow us down. And Ned? Yeah? I'm running in the dark here. Give me everything. Gossip, rumors. Really? Really. Sometimes with organizations like this, a lot of details hide in plain sight. Got it. I met my cathedral contact. What exactly is cathedral? It's a local intelligence agency. Like the... Actually, I don't know how to finish that. Like a field office of the FBI. They're watching over Glasgow. So what's this contact like? Can't tell. He's not really giving much away. Professional habit, I imagine. True. So do you think you can trust him? No, but that's the standard answer these days. You can always trust a Ned. That's exactly what an imposter would say. Busted. Bridget's not a real person. Um, what? She's a spy. What is the spy to normal ratio in Scotland? In general or in my experience? Actually, to answer both, I would guess maybe one in two? I have no idea how to help, but I'll do what I can. Me too. Working on it. Bridget, or should I say Zoe, is an American who is here to stop the colony operation. So you have an ally. Great. I wouldn't go that far. So you have an enemy. Unfortunate. I also wouldn't go that far. So you have a casual acquaintance. Interesting. You're getting closer. I'd see what you can find out from her. You should be suspicious of everyone you meet. Done and done. Goodbye. Thanks. Bye. Hi. My father told me not to trust you. Something's not adding up here. I'm not sorry that I lied. I'm sorry that I have to tell you the truth. Yeah, I can see that. Your mother came back to Scotland because I begged her to. She told me for months that Cathedral was like her family, but you and Carson were her family. She had a responsibility to you. She had made a promise to your father, and she meant it. But I begged. I told her I believed she was the only one who could help me stop the attack. That wasn't the lie. What was? I promised her she'd have round-the-clock MI5 protection from wheels down to meeting you at baggage claim back home. She trusted me. There was no one watching her, was there? No. As surely as she saved untold lives, I took hers with that lie. I took her from you with that lie. Please forgive me. Better yet, don't forgive me. Get angry and leave and go home. Hello. How did you and my mom know each other? We were both in the same J-School program. She was a better journalist than I was, and I hated her for it. A fact I made plainly clear. After graduation, I was happy I'd never have to see that smug face of hers ever again. Until, of course, in true Kate style, she called out of the blue to say she'd set me up with a job at the paper she'd been working at. I don't know if she mistook my hatred for healthy competition, or what it was all about. Your mother had this infuriating habit of expecting the best out of people. She confused me into being nice to her. I dare say I miss her almost as much as you must. 
So you are a spy, and my mother, was she? She was. Why didn't you tell me earlier? I made a promise to Kate that if anything happened to her, you would never, ever be dragged into this mess. What made you change your mind? You dragged yourself in. From here on out, it's survival. Did my mom live out here after I was born? Not quite. She'd come out here for months at a time with you and your father. Back then, we were still writing together. You weren't in school yet, so you were good to go anywhere. And Carson used to like it here. Those were good times. Do you know anything about my cathedral contact, Ewan? Not a thing. I lost the keys to cathedral long ago. In my experience, cathedral means well, but don't trust recklessly. Everyone keeps telling me to leave. I can't do that. You still don't get it. This isn't dangerous to just you. You just made your entire life a target. Your father, your friends, anyone who knows you. Does that include you? Oh, don't factor me in. I bought my ticket years back. Why was I brought to Glasgow? They think you might be the key to the secrets Kate left behind. I'm not. You could be. Kate would never give you information that would put you in danger. But the more you love someone, the more you show your secrets. Whether you mean to or not, that's why the family of a spy is never safe. As your father was fond of pointing out. Why are people after you right now? The colony operation is restarted and they're looking to pick up where they left off. Nancy, your mother's death wasn't an accident. I know, that's what the message that led me here said. I know it wasn't an accident. Your father knows it wasn't an accident. The only other people who know are the people who killed her. That's who sent you the message. Who is the silent spy? What? The message I got mentioned a silent spy. Ah, it's Gallo's humor. It's a take on an old book. Meaning? The only silent spy is a dead spy. What happened when you were gone? I don't want to talk about it. Why not? Maybe it's personal. Did you ever stop to think about that? My mom had a song she always played. Do you know anything about it? She loved that song. It may just be sentimental, but I don't know. Doubt it. How was my mom involved with a colony operation? Your mom stopped it. How? Not much is known, really. The operation needed three things. Someone to develop the biological agent, someone to make it in quantity, and someone to distribute it in a way that would affect the entire city. Your mom broke that chain. I don't know how. What's the story with the cabin you sent me to? The cabin is one of many. Cathedral had it fitted with tech for Kate and me once Colony started to heat up. No one but Kate and I knew of the location. Do not give that information out. To anyone. How did you become friends with my mom? We worked together at the Standard. She did features, I did news. She was a good friend. So the two of you worked together back when you were a reporter? Still am. Well, a blogger, so hard to say. Do you have anything that will help me understand what my mom was doing here and why she was involved in tracking such a dangerous group? At first it was a police matter, but your mother was studying them for cathedral. She had a crazy theory. Which was... Here. There's an American agent here. Good. I don't know if I should trust her. Me either, pet. Sorry. I don't really understand what this all means. Someone was using Glasgow as their laboratory. Each experiment was getting bigger, scarier. When we were done with our research, we were staring Revenant dead in the eye. We didn't know it until we were dragged into the central office for an emergency briefing, of course. That was fun. But we did know we were looking at something terrifying. Talk to you later. Bye.
Hmm. Nancy. See you around. Bye. Are you really going to go? Have a seat. No, Dad told me you're leaving. Why? Nancy, it's not like that. Are you coming back? I know, you heard some stuff between me and your dad, but you've got the wrong idea, kiddo. Then what's the right idea? You'll understand when you're older. Why is that always all you say? Trust me, if I could tell you everything, I would. But for now, I just can't. Now, come and sit. Let's practice. I'm sorry. I just can't. to figure out the password. You were a worthy opponent, but I beat you. The disc is missing. I'll need to find it first. A bug. Can't pass this up. This battery is sincerely dead. I need to find a cord to play this. Done that. What? What is going on? Who are you really? And who are you spying on? Keep it down. No, I will not. There's no end to the secrets I can say really loudly, so anyone, even that guy walking by, could hear. I can't believe she had the nerve to say that to your face. Shut up. Please. Not unless you tell me what's happening. No. If you pull that again, you and me are done. It's not working. I think there's something wrong with the outlet. Is that a bug? Who is listening to me? Also, note to self, do less thinking aloud. Whoa! Well, there goes my evidence.
Why is a raven like a writing desk? Ask the raven. Follow the raven to the archives. If the scientist is ever in danger, someone must tell him to run. The vaccinated will arrive while the rest of us are asleep. Hi, Mom. Wish I knew what you were talking about. Why is a raven like a writing desk? I've got those glasses for you. Here, the drive was wiped. Not that that slowed me down. Nothing worth your while on there anyway. The basic OS is there. So you're now the proud owner of neat spy glasses. What exactly do they do? Right. I don't know. Definitely not something the average person would have. Aye, I'm picking up on that. I think she actually might be an American spy. Listen, we're friends with the Americans, but I don't trust her. I'm going up a security level. That means extra security on the left, passcode, voice print, and skeletal recognition. You will not be able to get down there with anyone else. Is Moira really former cathedral? That's true. And she's retired? Retired, fired. Guess one's easier to say than the other. Talk to you later. Bye. Hi, Nancy. You were right about Moira. How so? She lied to Mom. She promised her she'd be protected here. What? She promised Mom that she'd have a guard at all times during her last trip here. I... thought your mom was lying about that. She wasn't. Moira was. Oh. And so Moira just told you this? I think she's been trying to tell someone for a while. She thought she was doing the right thing for Glasgow. That wasn't her decision to make! I know. You might want to talk to her about it, someday. No! I really think you should. Make it home safely and we'll talk about it. Until then, just because she gave you some sob story, don't trust her for a second. I found some bugs. I'm not sure what to do with them. Try bugging Alec. I'll let you go. Talk to you soon. Ewan changed the security. He must have left a clue for me to get back down. I bet I have something that might help. here. So you're breaking things now. So your friend found her way in and broke my case. Not pleased right now. Not in the least. What exactly did she take? Drone bugs. Expensive, one of a kind, really kind of awesome drone bugs. I'll let you go. Bye. It's locked. If I group the colors, I think I can completely clear the board.
Still have to do that. Haven't done. Still have to do that. Still have to do that. It's time for a new test. You and has proven himself to be untrustworthy. Find a way to top his computer. Deal with what you learn as you see fit, and he will be rewarded. Hmm. Done. I'll give it some time, then check in with the program at the cabin. I need to crack this code. Watch Zoe. Keep an eye out for anything. Talk to you later. See you around. to use these clips to tap into the system. I wonder how I do that. I need to place the red end of a clip on a green symbol so the same symbol appears at both ends of the clip. That should do it. Now to find the remote readout program. Hi. 
What was so important about the information my mother hid? Want a crash course in international intelligence? Because here it is. Every day that passes without a large-scale atrocity is both an accident and a miracle. I don't have time to explain it. Why don't you talk to Ewan? How do you know I'm talking to him? And wait, why? First, please. Second, don't talk. Get him to talk. Cool. All right, I'm out. Don't call. I don't have your number. Your presence surprise. The men who are following me don't know this is over. Mark lied. There was never any backup. I'm alone out here. I'm being followed by two black cars. Let's see what you and your tiny little bag are up to, sir. Something's attached. I wonder if I could enhance what's here. These letters must be one of her codes. Zoe here. This is the game I am in. That's a passphrase, all right, but what is it for? Drew Girl blew my cover, but I'll remain here at primary site until I no longer can. That little brat stole my glasses! Spent a great deal of time on you and watch. I'm going to work on an approach. At this point, he can't be oblivious to my presence. The Drew girl is as unaffiliated as she presented herself. My attempts to pry more information out of her have been more or less useless. I did what you said. When are you going to keep your end of the bargain? Don't give me that. She's going to figure things out soon enough. She's coming. Yeah, I got the bag. I'll put it where you can find it. The dead drop location, yeah, the lockers, I get it. Just promise me you're not going to hurt her. I want to talk to her now! I want to hear her voice! What is he talking about? That's done. Did that. Haven't done that. Still have to do- can't check that off yet. So, if you don't mind me asking, why was that scrapbook so important? It was my mother's. I mean, I get that. But was there anything else in there? I guess it doesn't matter now, but it was something that was important to my mom. What? My dad didn't want me looking in my mom's files, but I sort of picked the lock on his file cabinet and copied everything I could. There was a copy of the poem Jabberwocky that had these strange markings. I was hoping they meant something. Like she left you a message? Yeah, like that. It's silly. I know it is. No, it isn't. When you miss someone, you grasp at straws. We all do that. So this whole time you've been feeding someone information about me. Why? What do I do for a living? Why do you think? Who are you working for? Nancy, 
Please stop. Why should I listen to you? You sold me out. I did, but that doesn't make me a bad guy. Please listen. Yes, it does. That's the definition of a bad guy. I got a call from my sister a few nights back. It was strange. She just wanted to talk about you of all people. What was stranger is how afraid she sounded. How she wouldn't answer me when I asked her what was going on. Then she just said, please do what they want. That's why I sold you out. And that's who you're up against. Unlucky for you, I'm not the bad guy here. Hey, kid. Can you tell me who you were talking to earlier? That I can't do. Top secret information? Something like that. Tell me a little more about the cases you take. No. Yeah, no. I'm gonna land on no. What do you know about the group who has your sister? Nothing. I need more than that. Yeah, me too. There must have been something they told you. Can you even understand why I don't want you to go after the creeps who are holding my sister? <sighs> Impasse. I want to live, you want your sister to live, and Revenant is standing in the way of both. Like it or not, we're stronger together. Stronger than we are alone, but not stronger than they are. What kind of information did your contacts want to know about me? Let's not. Oh no, let's. Not. I agree. Done. I'll let you go. Goodbye. Make it quick. I know you bug my room. What do I have that everyone wants so badly? We believe that the operation your mother knocked offline involved a biological attack against Glasgow. We think she intercepted a delivery intended for Revenant. You were brought here because no one can find it. And the going theory is that you're the key to what Kate knew. I didn't even know she was a spy. No one thinks you know what it is. We just think you know it. Who do you work for? It's a name only a dozen people know. Even if I told you, it wouldn't matter. An American agency? In a sense. I can't believe you broke into that case. What is your problem? I've got you and under control. It was glass. I had a glass breaker. I wanted what was inside. You've got to get one of those. I have the situation covered. I know. That's why I cheated. I'll let you go. Bye! That's a code, all right. Looks like I'd better get cracking. of some sort. I need to figure this out. There must be something around here to help read this. There's something strange about the backing on these cards. Bridget, Zoe, Chloe, who are you really? Whoa, Samantha Quick? She's a spy. Wait, this means she knows exactly who I am. This must be for breaking the code. I bet the rest of the pieces are somewhere in this room.
Better not leave that way. If I arrange the pieces so they all fit completely within the grid, it should reveal a message. Audacious. I wonder if that will turn up anything in the archives. Someone put a tap on my computer. Was it you? No! Alright. If it was, I'll know eventually. I think Alec is spying on me. Really? Why would he do that? I have no idea. He says Revenant took his sister. Hmm. I'll look into it. Do you know what's going on with these cards? Hmm. 51. You're missing one. Find it, and then I'll be able to figure it out. Without the full set of cards, this means nothing. Talk to you later. Goodbye. get the deck of cards and the ace, I might be able to find the formula.
Is everything okay? Do you know about hiding information in playing cards? Yeah. Your mother loves stuff like that. Really? Oh yeah, she was always into weird codes and games. She'd hide notes from me and you everywhere, remember? Of course. She taught me how to use cards. They're tough to make, but pretty cool. Did you find some cards? Yes. Did you soak them? If you haven't, you need to. They'll open up if you leave them in water for a bit. Do you know what the formula is that people keep talking about here? I assume they're talking about the chemical formula that was going to be used in the attack. What's so important about it? I don't entirely understand it, to be perfectly honest. But the thing that really got your mother interested was the fact that it wasn't supposed to be a deadly attack. Which was great, but the why kept nagging at her. She was afraid that this was a test run for something that could potentially be done on a global scale. Why? I don't want to know. You see, it's things like this that make me want to keep you away from these people. Shouldn't you want me to fight? No. I want people with helicopters and the like to fight this. Not my daughter. Not yet, at least. Live a little longer before making that sort of decision. Although, as your father, I can't recommend a career in the library sciences strongly enough. You want me to be a librarian? Maybe. They're the world's unsung heroes, and they rarely explode or get kidnapped. Although, I'm sure you'd find a way. Talk to you later. Is everything okay over there? Did you find anything about Revenant? Oh boy, where to start? Start at the point that makes the most sense. Right, uh, hmm. Uh, Ned? Look, I have to admit, I'm out of my depth here. <laughs> Welcome to the club. That's the thing. I don't know if I'd call Revenant a terrorist organization. They're like a club or a secret society. Am I evaluating all things equally? Rumors and reports, all that good stuff? Yeah. I threw out all things that contained false flag, chemtrail, vaccines, and Anunnaki. Good methodology. What I end up with is... neutral. Neutral? Yeah. Some say they're behind all sorts of terrible things. And others? Other people say they're almost like a humanitarian group. Well, a highly creepy and somewhat illegal humanitarian group. That makes almost no sense. You know what words crop up more than anything else in all the chatter? Confusing? Parent. Guardian. That sort of thing. That may be how they see themselves, at least that's how they're acting. You mentioned the word parent came up a lot when talking about Revenant. What do you think that means? According to some blogger, it's because sometimes they're helpful, sometimes they seem cruel. But there's a design behind everything. And if they're a good parent, then it's almost like they're trying to shape the world into what they think it should be. And if they're not a good parent? Then they're trying to shape the world in their own image. Talk to you later. Bye. Check. That's done. Haven't done, haven't done, haven't done that. the alibi Samantha quick before haven't you yes I have been meaning to tell you about this you don't steal someone's alias that is so rude see you around goodbye Masterpiece. Not quite right.
Not bad, if I do say so myself. Done. All right. Got it. Not bad, if I do say so myself. Hey, kid. See you around. Goodbye. All right, it's ready to play.
Beware the Jabberwock, my son. Take the first of green, second orange, third purple, fourth red, fifth blue, sixth brown, seventh aqua, eighth pink. Mom definitely hid a code in Jabberwocky. Figure this thing out. Music themes reveal Ace. I think she's talking about the song she wrote. Maybe I could convince Dad to help me with that. Is everything okay? I need the sheet music to that song Mom always played. It's gone. All the way gone? All the way gone. It was in the files I had shredded. I think Mom hit a code in that song. A code. I remember she told me that there were certain musical phrases. That stood for each of us. I know. That's true then? It is. She wrote the song for me a long time ago. And then when you were born, she rewrote it. She added you into the song. I really needed that. I can. I'll get it to you. I can remember it. It might take a little while. You play piano? Your mom taught me that song, but it's been a while. I'll see what I can do. Talk to you later. Goodbye. Did that. Still have to do that. Nancy. Do you know what the story with a locked letterbox is? That's Kate's. Don't have a clue how to unlock it. Why did we lose contact with each other? We didn't. Your father got in the way. Why? Don't blame him. When your mum found out she was going to have a child, she made a promise. No work that would put her or you in danger, so no cathedral. She stuck to that promise, except when I made her break it, which was as often as I could. There was a really close call one night. What happened? I'd rather not say. Your father took you and left. And he was right too. Kate chose you over Cathedral and me. And she was right too. I'll let you go. Goodbye. All right there. I'll let you go. Bye.
By finding the letters Mom indicated, I'll be able to find her encrypted text. That's a code, all right. Looks like I'd better get cracking. the contact info for the scientist mom placed into hiding. the scientist's number. I think I need to warn him about what's going on. This is Nancy calling for Archimedes. They're going to come for me again, aren't they? Maybe. I don't know. Can you tell me why you're so important to them? You know what? Yeah, I'm not living in fear again. I have a family. Just stay calm. Explain how I can help. Why did you say yes? Because I care about my family more than I care about a world of strangers. Did Revenant threaten your family? Cooked them until I cooperated. Your mother put us into hiding. Why were they after you? What were they looking for? Because I understand the colony virus. The process to tweak that bug until they were satisfied. I'm the only one who knows that- I will do everything I can to keep you safe, but you have to work with me. Did that. Now, come and sit. Let's practice. I'm sorry. I just can't. <laughs> like mother, like daughter, I say. Well, too bad. You're doing it. Did you know I wrote this song? No. I did. That's why I wanted to teach it to you. These aren't just notes. There's something hidden in the music. These notes here, they represent you. They find their way into every song I play. This phrase, this is your father. Are you in the song? Somewhere, but it's not important. You and your dad are all I can hear when I sit down to play. Then why are you leaving? Well, you have no idea how much I want to tell you why, but I honestly can't. Why not? Just know this. If you knew, you would understand. Are you coming back? I really don't know. That's not a fair thing to say. Trust me, kiddo. I know. What did you have to know what Kate's last minutes were like? What her last thoughts were? Did she have something she wanted to say to you? This is your final test. Give us the number of the scientist. What? Enter it now. No, I would never give that to you. You have failed the test. Shame. Now you will never know. This presents only an inconvenience for us. Nancy, are you listening? I will do everything I can to keep you safe, but you have to work with me. No, it, it's too late. I'm running. I'm not hiding that from them anymore. They want my work, they can have it. You were listening in? But how? You will not escape. You will not survive.
Hi. Revenant wanted the number of the scientists Mom put into protective custody. You didn't give it to them, right? I did not. I'm surprised. I assumed you'd want me to cooperate. I do, but your mom put him in hiding for a reason. Did you finish the song? I'm working on it. Talk to you later. Bye. What happened? Nancy! Whoa! Five points for living like a rock star! This wasn't me. You've got a strange dot on your... RUN! TO THE ELEVATOR! What's going on? Ewan, what happened? This is going to be bad. Ah! Oh! Ah! Oh! Are you okay? What happened? Two men came in. They tied me up. They were looking for something. What? I have no idea. I'm so happy to see you. Get less happy. Why? Someone ransacked my room. And some gunfire might have been involved. At least you're safe. For the moment. It's time for you to leave. No. I'm setting it up. You're leaving. I won't take no for an answer. Talk to you later. Goodbye. The sheet music from Dad. This should help. Wow, they clean up quickly here. Still, I should see if any clues were left behind. The cards are gone! Is this a laser pointer? Does that mean that attack was staged? Tell me something good. I found a laser in my room. I figured you'd want it back. I got to thinking, who could have staged the break-in? Who was there to plant the laser and fake gunshots using... Squibs. I don't care what they're called, Alec. You need to explain what you're doing and who you're working for. Fair enough. You took my playing cards. Why? I uh, found it. I was meaning to give it back to you. Yo, oh, you're a bad liar. I'm a great liar when I want to be. Nancy, I'm sorry. Who are you and what do you want? If I tell you what I know, you'll be killed. I don't need anyone to keep me safe. All right. I'm only telling you this because I do believe you'll find out anyway. And I believe that you'll end up getting yourself killed by asking the wrong person the wrong question. Take this. I have to go. Be safe. It's the cart!
the missing cart. Need to get this one soaking and add it to the rest. What? See you around. Bye! There's something hidden on these cards.
I'm short one card. I should take these cards with me. Aces, add this to the rest. This is the formula for the biological bomb agent my mom was hiding. I can't let this fall into the wrong hands. Did that. Check. Hey, my deck of cards. Give that back. This isn't yours. It belongs to the government. You can't just come in and take whatever you want and... What's that? Sit down if you don't want to wake up with a concussion. I haven't, I haven't practiced. practiced. I'm, I'm not ready. ready. Life, Life doesn't, doesn't wait for you to be ready. ready. Ugh, I keep screwing up. Join, Join the club. club. All right, All right. Let's, let's try, try again. again. Come, come on, come once, once more, more, huh? More, huh? I'm, I'm never going, going to be as good as you. No, you're going to be better. Go home, Nancy Drew. Hide. No. Just leave them. I didn't want to wake you. You seemed so peaceful. Ugh, where are we? Dumpster. I think this is a trash compactor. And it's compacting. Sure, why not? You seem a little casual. I spent the last ten minutes trying to wake you up. Wore me out a little. You're gonna have some bruises. I undid one of the locks. Then my leg got trapped. You need to do the other lock. Looks like the release is trapped behind the levers. I'll need to get it out. Hmm, I think I can do this. Not reassuring. All right, well, I'm gonna do my best to enjoy the time I have left. It'll be brief, painful, and full of garbage, but that's life, isn't it? And that's the metaphor I'm riding into the grave, the much smaller and flatter than average grave. There's just... Got it. Let's get out of here. What are you going to do now? Nothing. We, on the other hand, have our work cut out for ourselves. What's next? So, any bright ideas? I've been tracking everyone else, but Ewan has taken my computer tap offline. Maybe it's time for me to go confront him. Wait, no, no, no. If you have any better ideas... Go see what you can find out from Ewan. Great! I can use these to tap his computer again. Let's go crack some skulls. I don't do that. Me either. Just let me say it. Okay, go ahead. Moment's gone. That's done. Check. Alright, just like the first time.
All right, what's he really up to? Somewhere, Ewan's got a special coin. I think I might need to borrow it for a while. Did that! must be the right coin. Ewan's been planning the attack from here. Can't check that off yet. Ewan, he's the one who lured me in. I found a secret room at the train station, with everything you would need to stage the attack. This all points to you in. Spoiler alert, but yeah, you're right. We need to assume he's ready to go. Can you handle him? Yes, I can. Good, give me the glasses. I'll set these up so we can keep in touch. I'm gonna put a team together to scour the city for bombs. You find a way to neutralize him. Got it. Here. I'll take care of it. Nancy. Read you loud and clear, Zoe. As much as I hate to say this, we can't do this alone. I'm looping in Moira and Alec. Nancy, you on? Is he helping? You can't seriously trust him. One thing at a time. How many bombs do you think Ewan was able to make? I have intel that says his team was able to produce enough of the agent for four bombs. What's my next move? Smart Money says if we disarm one bomb, the others will go. No one touch anything until we found all four. Nancy, get in there and take you and out. I'm on it. Aha. Uh -huh. Cannot say I blame him for adding a password. This is a surefire way to get Ewan's attention. Time to 
make sure you and can't escape. This won't stop me, you know. I've already won. Why would you do this? Because I can. You used my mom to lure me here so you could get some stupid formula. You're just figuring that out now, are you? We're going to stop you. important? Extremely! The blocks must be removed in the following sequence. Small, small, medium, large. Consecutive blocks in a sequence must be touching each other along an edge. You have to press them in. Hurry! I'm losing you. You're on your own in there, but you can do this. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Whoa, that was too close. I defused the bomb. You did good. I'm off to help Alex find his sister. P.S. Bridget says, Oh, hello, my dear. I'll miss her. She was fun. Dear Mom, my trip to Scotland was eventful, to say the least. I'm not entirely sure I should have come, but in some ways, things worked out better than expected. The colony operation has been stopped again. Zoe told me that all information related to the colony formula has been destroyed for good. Ewan is gone. He was taken into custody, and I can honestly say I have no more information. It seems like he was just a guy who felt small, who was tricked into doing the bidding of strangers who made him feel important. He never had the tools he needed. That's why he had to lure me in. I'll give him this. He knew how to get my attention. Revenant is still out there, but for now, they're on the run. I don't think that's my fight anyway, at least not for a while. I think Zoe will be able to manage without me. Speaking of, last I heard, Zoe was working with Alec to track down his sister. With those two working together, it's only a matter of time before she's brought home safely. It seems that's just the next step in Zoe's mission to expose and bring down Revenant. She has a huge task in front of her. But from what I've seen of Zoe's work, Revenant's got plenty to worry about. Alex's brush with Revenant has pushed him to set aside his work as a skip tracer. In the course of tracking down his sister, he made some connections with Cathedral. And not surprisingly, the rest of that is classified. Moira seemed happy to see me, and to her credit, I really believe she wants to make up for her betrayal of your trust. It's strange. I expected to be angry with Moira, but I'm not. I know her motivations were good, even though her actions weren't. And I see how much she misses you. I think I should keep in touch with her. I think that's what you would do. And I guess the last part of the trip is you. I found the letter you wrote all those years ago. I don't know what else to say. I think I was so desperate to solve the mystery of your accident that I forgot I already knew what mattered. I knew who you were. I've known that my whole life. I see you when I look in the mirror and at dad and at everything you loved. And I hear your song whenever the world is quiet enough. I'm headed home to see dad and everyone else. I'll write you again. And I will find the rest of those letters even if it takes a lifetime. Love, Nancy. Operation Surprise George with ice cream is a go. Get her to scoop in time to see the winners announced. You guys are so going to win. George is really excited about this, so I wrote a plan for how to cheer her up if you guys aren't selected to be on the show on the other side of this note. Oh, Bess. I'm serious! Everyone be quiet! Uh, you're the only one talking. Okay! That's... that's fair. And now, the moment you've been waiting for. Each episode, a new team has been announced to take part in next season's New Zealand adventure. And tonight, we've narrowed it down to two. Will it be last season's fan favorites? Or newcomers Nancy Drew and Greg Fane? Sorry, George. Don't give me that look. Two plane tickets are in the mail, heading for Greg and Nancy. <laughs> Good luck, you two. You're going to need it. Here's a peek at the dangers you'll be facing on your trek through New Zealand. Sheep. Adorable birds. Film scouting crews. Different sheep. Oh, right. 
and active volcanoes, decaying rope bridges, avalanches, deadly storms, cave collapses, treacherous competitors, and of course, more sheep. Get ready, Nancy and Craig, for the biggest adventure of your lives on Pacific Run, New Zealand. For Nancy and Greg. And also me, because I'm coming along too. Hooray for Bess. You sound good. You're being far too nice. Well, let me be nice now and again. Fair enough. Sit. Pull up a bench. It's nice hearing someone play the piano again. Your mom said that the best gift you could ever give a child is a house full of music. I like that. You know, she was not a natural musician. I was there when she started playing. Really? Oh, just terrible. I just assumed she was a natural. No, I mean, you remember her singing voice. Remember it? I inherited it. When she would sing the national anthem. Hmm, I remember. Just the sea of heads would turn back with this look like, who is this person and why does she hate music? I always tried to hide. Yeah, until you realized you were just as bad. Worse. But she owned it, like you. She was always just happy to be who she was. I, I'm glad you got that from her. I still miss her. Me too. I'm sorry it took you running off to Scotland to talk about this stuff. Hannah stepped in and you kept marching on and I didn't want to interrupt. I felt the same way about you. You know, by avoiding talking about the painful stuff, we didn't talk about the good stuff either. I think it's time. I agree. What's your favorite memory? Um... A, a favorite. It doesn't have to be the, the favorite. I loved it when we'd go up north in the fall. For the donuts. They were so good. We should go again. Agreed. What was yours? Easy. The day I met her. Yeah? I don't know that story. Well, sit tight. It takes about nine seasons to tell it correctly. <laughs> 